guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Patty. I'm a crafter and a numb maker. Somebody asked if I'd ever played with air dry clay and I haven't. So I bought some air dry clay and by the time I finished this um, project, I've been through seven different brands of it. And I'm gonna show you the two that I use in this that worked out really well for me. It's a real lightweight, they're real bouncy. They dry within like 24 hours. And I'm gonna show you how to weave this basket, make the rabbit and the balloons. If you wanna know how to make it, stick around. I'll show you how. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to build our basket. I'm just taking this um, little container. I got the Dollar Tree, taking the handle off. I'm measuring it around the top. It's going to be 12 inches. So you're going to cut your, your strips at 12 inches, and it's 4 inches in length, and I'm going to cut them at um, half inch. So I'm going to do 8 um, half inch by 12 inch strips. Just go ahead and line them up. Then I'm going to take a 1 inch by 4 inch strip, and I'm going to put it behind it, just overlapping on the half half of it because we're going to connect the sides of the basket together at the end. Just go ahead and glue your glue down on each strip and we're just going halfway across that strip right there. Okay, then I went ahead and I cut, um, you're only going to need 14 of the strips going this way. We're just going to weave them in and out and um, overlapping. We're going to go behind the top one first and then over the top one second. So just um, alternating and go ahead and just start weaving that down. And these are gonna be half inch strips as well by four inch, and I only needed 14 to do this project. So just keep weaving it until you get them all the way weaved in. And then when we get a few of them in, we're gonna just start gluing them in to the um, top and the bottom pieces just to kind of hold them in place. And you can use any kind of container you want to, just, you know, whatever, just do the measurement on it and um, cut and measure your strips to fit your um, container. Okay, and go ahead and just start gluing those in, and then we're going to keep going all the way down until we get to the end. And go ahead and glue that in. And then next, we're going to go ahead and just trim off the excess off the bottom and on the top. And I'm going to come in here with a 12 inch um, strip off and glue it across the top just to kind of finish that out. And I'm going to do it across the bottom as well. And then when you actually put it around your container, don't do what I did. I turned it on the inside and I had to go back in and had add another strip on the outside because I had turned it the wrong way when I glued it in. So make sure that this is the part that's going to be on the outside of your container, the part with the two strips. Just get it all trimmed out so it looks nice and smooth on the bottom and the top. And then I'm going to take a heat source. I'm just taking a blow dryer. I'm going to curve it on the inside. And I'm going to start heating it up so it'll go around the um, edge of that container real easily. It just kind of helps shape it. And then go ahead and glue it together. And once you get it all glued in, we're just going to take it and we're just going to sit it over the top of our container and slide it down. Now you have a little belay in this because it is stretchy. Just get it all the way to the very top so you don't see any of the container. And then we're just going to glue in the top part. Okay, next I'm just going to take some styrofoam and stick it down inside of it. So just start shaving it till you get to the shape that you want. And then we're going to go ahead and glue that into the container and leave it where you have about um, maybe a half to three quarters of an inch on the top part because you're going to fill it in with some grass. I'm just using some uh, green um, type paper shredded type grass. Just go ahead and glue that in. Go ahead and stick it down into the sides. Once you get it all um, put in there, then we're going to go ahead and just trim it around the edge so it's flush with the container. And then I'm just putting a little bit extra glue down in there just to kind of hold it in place. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and make our balloons. This is the clay that's really, it's, it doesn't stick to your hands, and it, and it forms into the shape of a ball real easily, and we're making little balloons with it. And I'm going to go ahead and add some paint because I wanted it to be a little bit more pastel for Easter, and I'm just doing like a dot of glue at a time, and you start um, twisting it up and, and mixing it in, and just to make sure it's completely mixed in because you don't want any kind of stripes on it. And you can add a pretty good bit of the glue to it. I mean, I'm sorry, the, a pretty good bit of the paint to it without it um, changing the shape of it or the consistency of it. Just keep smoothing it out. And this stuff 
really sticks good together. So when you make your balloons and you lay them down, just make sure that they don't touch each other because anything that this touches, it's going to stick to it. It, it. It'll stick to the other clay. It won't stick to other stuff, but it will stick to the clay itself. Okay, then we're just going to take it and we're just going to tear off a little pity pea-sized piece. And that's going to be the bottom part of our balloon. Just push that down a little bit. And then we're going to take another piece and we're going to roll it into a, like a one inch ball. And this stuff dries and it's like bouncy. It dries really, really fast. When you take it and put it on your stick, you're going to have to be real careful at the top part because you don't want to change the shape of it because it will change as you move it. Just take your fingernails and push it down there and then go ahead and add the ball. Now don't push so hard on the ball because you don't want to make a dent on it. Just shape it out there and then do the same thing with the other. And we're going to do several different colors of this. You get a lot of colors in these um, and you can mix them and match them, you know, different ways. You can mix the two colors together to make a different color or add the paint, you know, to make it a little bit more um, pastel looking. So go ahead and make your yellow ones, your pink ones. Just keep making them until you have enough balloons that you want. I used um, several different colors. And then I'm going to go ahead and start making the bunny. Now, there wasn't enough white in the kit that I got to make the size of bunny I wanted to make. And so I bought a different kind of um, lightweight air dry clay. And you could actually start with this one here if you wanted to and add color to it, to the white to make the different colors that you want. But I'm just taking it and I'm just kind of kneading it a little bit. And then I'm going to roll it into a two inch ball for his head. And this doesn't stick to your hands either. It works real well. Just roll it into a two inch ball and then I'm going to go ahead and take and make his um, face on there or his nose. Just do a little line there and a line there and a line there just to kind of give the little bunny shape on the nose. And then I'm going to go ahead and add these two little pins to make his eyes. And you don't have to glue those in. Just stick them in. They will dry when that dries. They'll stay in when that dries. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to make his ears. And I'm just going to roll two um, about half inch size balls. And then I'm just going to roll them um, kind of like a little um, log. And then I'm going to roll the very bottom of them to kind of make the tip of the ear. So go ahead and roll them out on the bottom just to kind of give it the shape of the ear. Then I'm going to take an acrylic um, block and I'm just going to press them down. You can use anything that you want to. It just makes it a little bit more even if you go ahead and use something to flatten them out with. Then I'm going to take some um, toothpicks and I'm going to put them inside to hook them onto the clay. Because the clay dries pretty fast on this and so um, it doesn't stick together as well. So you do have to use some um, toothpicks on this and glue it in. But it really is a good, it, it is a good clay. I'm going to use it on a lot of pro different projects because I do like the lightweightness of it. Go ahead and shape his ears out there once you get it on there. And then I'm going to just take some Tombow glue and glue it in. And you don't need a lot, just a little bit of glue. But you could use this for a lot of different projects that you want to because it is lightweight. If you want to make, um, if you want to make little accessories for your gnomes and stuff like that, it won't add weight to it. It's lightweight and it, and it does, you can make so many things with this clay. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and make his little feet, his little front paws, because I'm going to have him sitting in the basket, like, leaning over it. So I'm rolling those into about a half-inch ball as well. I'm going to flatten both of those out a little bit, not completely, but just a little bit. Then shape the back of them, kind of make them come to a little point to make his paw. And then I'm going to take my little um, stick here, and I'm just going to cut the little um, toes in there for it. So it looks like little paws. Then on these, I'm going to take toothpicks too. Just cut a little piece of toothpick off. And we're just going to stick it in the very back part. And we're going to attach it to his head so that it looks like he's leaning over the basket. So push him towards the front. And then I didn't do this in the video because it wasn't recording, but I cut two little black ropes and made little um, eyebrows over his eyes. And I did that with the, um, the, the clay that comes in the bag, the stickier clay. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and make his little nose and his ears out of this. And this you don't have to use a toothpick on. It's When it sticks, it sticks. So just roll it up in a little bitty ball and put it right above his little nose area. And then we're going to go ahead and add some um, decorative pieces to his ears too, some little pink. Just kind of roll it into a little log and then we're going to press it out, kind of give it the shape of an ear. Just kind of make a little point on it so it's kind of shaped similar to the other ear. And this is just going to be an insert so you want to make sure it's a lot smaller than the ear that you made before. And then just press those on. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and grab our basket, and we're just going to stick him into the basket. I tried first to stick the, two, the um, piece of wire up there, but then I figured out I wasn't going to be able to get it in the basket very good. So go ahead and leave your bunny off till you get your wire in there, and then go ahead and add your rabbit. Kind of have him setting up over the edge. Then just go ahead and attach your balloons. Just put them however you want to. I went ahead and put mine taller in the back and kind of graduated them down towards him. And you could put eggs in the basket with him too if you wanted to. And then I'm coming back in and I'm going to add a couple little carrots to him. My mom kind of inspired this little bunny here because I made one of those balloons. And she goes, oh, make a little hot air balloon. So we're going to go back in and we're going to put a couple little carrots in here. And that's pretty much it. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.